Hey guys, thanks for joining me here. We're at the Flight Junkies Carver's Field in Ohio, and uh, we had a great day this morning. We had a couple new students make their first flight. And uh, in some of my other videos, you'll see uh, we're flying with the trike today. And in one of my other videos, there's a video that I have called How to Launch a Powered Paragliding Trike, Captain Kurt style. Watch for that video. It's teaching you setup of the wing. Uh, the setup is critical for a good takeoff, especially when you're a newbie. You don't want to have to overwork your wing uh, on a takeoff. Uh, uh, you want something that doesn't require a lot of fixing. I have a very unique way that I've been doing for almost 30 years now that will give you 100% success right off the bat with your launches. Uh, right now what I'm going to do, it's a little wet outside, my wing's a little wet. Um, this morning we got a lot of dew, I had the boots on, it wasn't just from the guys uh, talking crap over there. Uh, but it's, it's actually kind of wet out here today. So uh, I'm going to take this up, and what I wanted you to see from this video, because I don't have a video doing this, is I have a very particular way of not only setting up my wing, but I have a very particular way of laying down my wing when I come in for the landing. Now what a lot of instructors are doing out there is they're telling the students to come in and when they come in for their landing, you're gonna do your flare, wheels are gonna to touch the ground, and then they tell them to hold the brakes down and hope that the wing drops back behind them. Uh, I'm gonna show you why this is ineffective a lot. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. What happens when it doesn't? is it comes down with you, you land, the wing's above your head, and sometimes it just, the wing comes in, it stops right above your head, and then it just kind of fillets out of the sky like this. It comes down on top of you, you're covered in lines, you're tangled in them, and to reset and take another flight after that, it just doesn't work out. Um, I'm gonna teach you a way that the lines don't get tangled, and it's a perfect lay down, and what I'm gonna do, and you can watch this, uh, hopefully the camera will be able to pick it up. We're kind of doing this from our phone, and so he's going to try to zoom in and see that my hands. But I want you to pay particular attention to is the speed at which I'm flaring. You're going to see a nice, soft landing. As I touch the ground, my, my eyes then go back up to the wing. On takeoff and on landing, whenever my wheels are touching the ground, my eyes are on that wing. These guys that are telling you to go by feel, to go by feel, to wonder what your wing is doing, uh, it, it's, it's not doing you a justice. Uh, a new student doesn't have feel. He's nervous, he's got information overload, he's got tunnel vision, and he doesn't know that his wing is two or three feet off. And with the other trikes on the market that aren't like the Flypod trike, the Flypod trike self-corrects. No other unit does that. So they have no recourse. If they stop thinking about their feet because they're trying to fix a wing that didn't come up good because they didn't use my setup, because their instructor told them not to, not to do that, and they didn't use the kind of setup. You'll understand why in that other video. But all of these things will come into play, and the next thing you know, they're rolling the trike over. A lot of trikes roll over very easy. This one doesn't. It's got a self-steering front end that automatically wants to crack. It's a very hard trike to roll, but if you use my other setup, you should never roll a trike, and you watch that. But the big thing I want you to see about this video is the landing. I'm going to come in. Bring it in, you're gonna see me flare, my wheels are gonna to touch, my hands, by the time I'm at the end of my flare, before I come to a stop, I'm gonna look up, and before I stop rolling, while I still have control of the wing, I'm going to lift one hand up. That's gonna peel the wing off to the side. I'm also gonna stiffen my front wheel so it doesn't self-correct while the wing is going there, and it's gonna lay off to the side, and then I'm gonna show you a very quick way to reset your wing. I won't be tangled in it. You'll see that all the lines are straight, and uh, we'll go from there. So right now I'm gonna do a quick takeoff. I'm gonna buzz around here. Uh, wind has changed the direction a little bit since I've been here, and I got a little bit of bumpies here, but I'll get it in the air, I'll bring it around, I'm gonna bring it in this way and land it, and then I'll show you the setup. So here I go, I'm gonna drop my nose down. We've already got the wing laid out. This is an older unit, this is a used unit, and one of my students came in today. Made his first flight, did a great job on it, and uh, here we go. Clear. Right brake is clear. Left brake is clear. Trimmer is set. Hands up. Hands up. When I see the wing, I'm going to brake.
Watch what happens. Look at the wing. Wing lays down beautiful. Now watch this. Keep that keep the keep the camera running here for a second. We're not gonna pause it. We're gonna keep it going. We were gonna pause it, but um, I want you to look here and see how that uh, come around here with the camera for a second. And I want you to see that uh, look at this. All the lines are laid out perfect. I just lay them out the ones I look at. No tangles. Wing is laid out there. Trike is right there. And watch how easy this is for another, for another launch. Okay? I'm going to do a reset. I'm going to have him go around to the other side right over here. And uh, this is so much easier than what's being taught out there by some of these other guys. And uh, they just probably didn't know this method, but now they will. Hopefully they'll start showing their students that. Let's say I forgot something. I wanted to come back down and get a drink. I don't want to go through the whole hassle of trying to redo this whole thing. Watch how easy it is to reset this. I go to the side that the wing is laid on. I come out about two feet from the, uh, from the risers. I grab about two feet of line. I grab about another five feet and I lock my hands. Now watch this. I'm going to turn and watch what's happening to the tip of the wing. It's coming in. And it's grabbing. It's coming over towards those other lines. Now watch what I do here. I'm going to lay that in my line guide. I'm going to pull these lines through my hand. When I get to the center of the hub here, I'm going to pull the wing a little closer to the other lines. And watch this. I'm going to lay this down. Now bring the camera around here for a second. I'm going to grab the tip, which I dragged over to the other lines. Now watch how easy this is. I'm going to reach in, grab the tip. I'm going to flip it over a little bit. Before I step out of here, I'm going to save myself a trip by taking these lines and sticking them in our little line guides here. And now what I'm going to do is stay very close to the machine, and I'm going to drag till I get about halfway. Once I'm about halfway, I'm ready, I'm ready for what's called the drag back. And again, you'll have to refer back to the other video called How to Launch a Powered Paraglider Trike Captain Kurt Style to understand what I'm doing here. But that's how you do a reset. So now I would trickle my grass get my nose, uh, find out which way the wind is coming. When I see the grass coming straight towards the front tire, that tells me I'm into the wind. I, I, if I have to adjust the trike towards the wind, that's fine. So one is the wind, two, adjust the trike to the wind, and then three, you come behind the wing like this, you find the center cell, and then what I'm doing is I'm using the front of my trike and the black strap on the gas tank to, to drag back to get three things in line. The wind, the trike, and the center of the wing. So here, get down here. We're gonna keep those three things in line while we drag back. And in dragging back, you'll notice from my other video, look at, I'm gonna grab every cell that there's a line. Look at my hands. Every cell that's lined. And in dragging back, I've now opened up my wing and I've made each cell easier to inflate because of dragging it back. Look what it did to the wing. Look how all the cells are. It's not rolled up like a cigarette. Like these, uh, like these other people are doing. It's laid out real nice, okay? And there's one half of the wing. Look how beautiful that looks. It's in the position that's already gonna be when it's flying, and that's why you see the wings come up so good with the way I set it up. The reason I'm pulling these all the way back is so that every cell inflates evenly. As all lines are tight, as I throttle up, all the lines will tighten up at the same time and inflate at the same time. Now go ahead. And look at that beautiful glider. Look at that setup. And then focus over here for a second. I'm going to grab these. I'm just going to stick them in here in the line guides. I'm going to comb these out so they don't get caught in the prop. I put a little bit of tension on them. Stick them in our little zip tie line guides here. Both sides. We kind of clear the loose lines away so they don't get caught in the prop. And we'll just stick them in there. After this, we're going to drop our nose down. And we're ready, for, we're ready for another launch. Now, I can do that all in about 40 seconds. I'm going slow for the camera. But if, uh, if you have a failed launch, with my method of laying it to the side, you can reset and literally, my record's like 30, 40 seconds. And I'm ready to be back in the pit again. Uh, the setup is good. It's not tangled. I'm not, I'm, not, uh, I'm not coming in for a landing and then hoping my wing, you know, by holding them down, hope it drops behind me. Because it does sometimes maybe about six or seven out of 10. But what about the other four times? 
It stops with you. Comes down on top of you, tangles you in. You don't have to be like that. Use my method, try it, you're gonna love it. Before you come to a rolling stop, lift one hand, stiffen your front wheel so you don't turn, lead the wing off to the side, now you can just reset it, boom, you're ready to go. I hope this helps out, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for joining us here, call us anytime. We're open from eight in the morning until midnight, seven days a week, and uh, we'd be happy to tell you. You're welcome to come in and monitor the classes anytime. We're in Ohio during the summer until October 1st. After that, we're down in Florida from May, to, or from October until May every year. Uh, we train seven days a week. We train in all 50 states. If you can't come to us, we come to you. Our training is free, it's unlimited, and we train your entire family. Nobody pays this $2,500, $3,500, $4,500 for training and waits 10 months for training. You don't do that. We train seven days a week. You can come in anytime. It takes about a week and a half for all of your equipment to arrive, and you can literally start living the dream right now. So thanks for joining me. I'm Captain Kurt.